Bruno, could you please tell us why that if a student has been extensively trained in Vader or Leduc or another school, why they have to still take lymph one at the at the Chickley Institute? Yeah, I understand. Some of you can be frustrated, but it is to really help and heighten your palpation skills. Um, in the first level, we show the participants, the students, to feel the very specific rhythm of lymph, the direction, the depth, and the quality. And be very clear with those. The rhythm of lymph was described in animals, I think, in 1772. In human, you have the article of Olszewski and Engeset, in 1979, 80-81, assessing the rhythm in human and the pressure in millimeter of mercury of the, the lymph flow in human. And you need to feel it very clearly and see the difference between your clients and patients, between different regions of the body and the difference with different pathology. When you have the specific rhythm, you are moving your hand with every stroke right and enhancing the specific rhythm of your patient. Number two, the direction. We start with lymph one and specifically in lymph two, we show you the mapping, the manual lymphatic ma mapping of the superficial or the deep lymph flow, as opposed to the pool of the superficial fascia or deep fascia. So you make sure you feel a fluid movement and it helps you a lot to see where the uh, lymph is rerouting spontaneously or you help it to find an alternate pathway then we have the depth you know are you draining the skin subcutaneous uh, tissue are you draining the muscles are you draining the viscera large intestine small intestine the prostate the ovaries the spleen the uh, liver the lungs the heart myocardium pericardium are you draining the dura the pia the chamber of of of, of the eyes some component of lymphatic circulation. And finally, the quality. Is your, the lymph very fluid, like water, like the white of an egg, or very thick? <laughs> we find the, the lymph very thick like that with chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, with infections, chronic infection, allergies, etc. So when you are very clear for those with those four components, rhythm of lymph, direction of lymph, depth, and quality, then it, you can go to the next step and learn even more advanced things, different rhythm for the lymph uh, flow, and then maybe a rhythm for the limb, for the nerve, etc. cetera. So um, this is really good to have a great foundation for you. And then we can go to the next step. If you have never done that, you are obviously going to be overwhelmed and, and we want you to feel comfortable in our classes. Thank you.